Hello YouTubers, γεια σας φίλοι μου, το Dagamon here. In this video I'm going to benchmark for honor on a single GTX 1070. As always, this is a digital recording at 60 frames per second, which is done on an external recorder. So what you will see in this video will be pure performance. As always, I'm using my Core i5-2500, which is overclocked to 4.8 GHz. There it is. The system has 16 GB of memory. And the graphics card is a single GTX 1070 made by KFA2, the EX model, latest Foursquare, and it is also overclocked in order to boost uh, close to 2 GHz or at 2 GHz. For this benchmarking video, I'm going to use Fraps. Uh, I will gather the gameplay frame rate data. We will see the basic result in this file and some analysis with uh, frame latency analytics tool. So let me launch the game and let's see how it performs. Yes, yes, okay. Let's see the options first. Uh, 1080p resolution, uh, no vertical sync, of course, since uh, this is a benchmark. I'm using the borderless window for this game because uh, some games, when I set them to full screen, uh, they wreak havoc on my external recorder, and this game is one of them. Uh, but it does not matter, the performance is the same. And for the graphics uh, settings, I'm using the Extreme preset. Uh, it is not exactly maxed out. You can increase uh, the settings by enabling the super sampling and the aliasing, but uh, I'm not going to do that for this uh, run. So, uh, let me set up my game Dominion, Map Selection, Citadel, a day. Rules 10 minutes, it will be enough for benchmarking. And yes, that's it. No, no. I like to be on the defenders. This is my hero and the rest will be selected by the system. This is the closest setup I can uh, I can set for a single player uh, experience so I can benchmark uh, the game it is multiplayer and very dynamic. Starting the benchmark. Looks like they want us to hit him. You lost zone C. You captured zone A.
capture Zone C. Lost Zone A. Zone C.
Okay, this is the end of the benchmark. 7 minutes and 13 seconds. So the average frame rate was uh, 119 frames per second. Uh, a very decent uh, performance. Frame rate and frame times. Uh, the frame times are a bit uh, jittery during the first part of the of the run. We can see here why the GPU usage is not maxed out uh, during the first part. This indicates uh, a CPU limit, of course, and we can see that the CPU usage is very high throughout the benchmark. CPU number 4 could, could be a little better, I guess, in terms of CPU usage, but overall three of the four cores are doing a lot of work. Uh, after the first uh, part of the run, it seems that uh, the game is uh, setting up some data during the first part along with uh, the gameplay and it settles down after a bit. We don't have any CPU limit for the most part of the of the run. Still uh, it is not a maxed out performance for the GTX 1070. CPU temps, however, are very good. We don't have any problem here. 5 gigabytes, 5.1 gigabytes of, of uh, RAM usage. The power of the card is close to 85%, give or take, a little above 85. GPU temps are fine. The core clock of the video card is at 2 GHz throughout the run. And we have a 3 GB usage for the video frame buffer. So uh, all video cards with 3 GB should be able to run this game with no problems at extreme settings. Uh, of course, yes, the GTX 1070 scored uh, 120 frames per second. So most video cards uh, that uh, of lower spec should run it quite well. I will I will test my 7950 uh, in a couple of days, so we will see how this fares. So let's see the analysis now. The true comparable frame rate is at 97 frames per second from 120, 119, not too bad. Uh, the, average frame, the average frame time is 8.4, very good, but we do have some stuttering. Uh, this stuttering mainly occurs uh, due to the first part of the run where we have the CPU limit. Uh, sorry, let's not start here. We can see what happened uh, during the first part of the run. A lot of uh, spikes in the frame times. This is due to the CPU limit. The system is trying to do many things at once uh, during the first part. So these uh, spikes occur. The rest of the spikes are not too huge. Uh, they are uh, uh, mostly at 1 to 1.5 milliseconds in length. It is an open world game. Uh, not exactly open world, okay, it is an open level. So these things uh, can happen. Frame times beyond 16.7 milliseconds are not uh, many, but still some. The histogram of the frame times does show that we have most of the frames at 8, 9 and 10 milliseconds which is uh, a good uh, performance, uh, however you see it, they are not at 30 or 35 milliseconds, very good performance, the game was very playable, 
uh, the frame times again without any comparisons they could be better that is for sure uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to test this uh, game on a better CPU because the beta ends uh, in a couple of days so yeah uh, frame rate is indeed take some dips uh, during the first part of the run and it gets more stable and higher after a while still very high frame rate no problems let's see the min max and average excellent no problems whatsoever no serious problems uh, variability at 0 0.7 stuttering at 1.2 this could be a little better but again this is mainly due to the CPU uh, at least this is what my test shows the percentile 99th percentile is at 13.9 milliseconds it is a little bit high if you see the rest of the curve uh, where the frame times go below, below 10 milliseconds we do have this uh, delay at the first part of the run which messes up with the percentiles but still good still below 16.7 milliseconds time spent curve not too bad and lastly the comparable frame rate overlaid with the variability and the stuttering if it was not for the stuttering uh, this could be a few frames better but uh, again nothing too serious uh, the game seems to be on the right path path for a very good gaming experience if you are into this kind of gaming uh, so that's it my friends thank you very much for watching i hope you i will see you on my next uh, video take care